Joseph, favored son of Israel. Grow to Emmaus. On the third day after Jesus' crucifixion, two of his disciples were going to the village of Emmaus. While they walked and questioned each other, Jesus himself came near and walked with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. What are we going to do now? I thought he was the one. Why are you walking and talking so sadly? Don't you know the things that have happened recently in Jerusalem? What things? The things concerning the prophet, Jesus the Nazarene. The priests and our rulers crucified him. But we were hoping that he would redeem Israel. And now it is the third day since these things happened. Also, some of the women from our group said that he was alive. <laughs> Foolish people. Didn't the prophets write that the Son of Man had to suffer these things in order to enter into his glory? Beginning from the law and the prophets, he explained to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. This is just one of the stories Jesus could have told. Consider the story of... Joseph! Greetings, Bible nerds. Greetings, Bible nerds. This is Bill explaining. Yeah. Greetings, Bible nerds. It is I, your friendly neighborhood Christian comic artsy Bible nerd, here to bring you another page of Joseph, favorite son of Israel. As we left Joseph, he was running away in a huff, off to find his brothers in Dothan. He arrived in Shechem, and, Sh and the man from Shechem says, Your brothers aren't here. They were here, but they're not here anymore. Where did they go? He's getting a little heated. He's getting a little hot under the collar, if he was wearing a collar. He says, they're go They went to Dothan. I heard them say they were going to Dothan. Well, I'm out of here, says Joseph. I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind. Somebody's gonna be in deep trouble when I get there. And then, and now, the continuation of page 19. Uh, I think I should do some more anatomy work from for this guy, because I'm not sure. Not too sure about what's going on yet until I draw it, until it's been drawn. Uh, what should I do with his arms? Are his arms, is he holding something? Why is he out there in the field? What's up with this guy? Was he holding a rake? Was he farming something? Was he just walking around? Um, let's try some things. Try. Let's try putting his arm here. Tell you what, let's do. Because. I want to lead the reader to read from left to right. I'm going to make him point that way. I'm starting to think, I think I've already done this pointing trick in the previous page. I don't want to do that too much. What is this guy doing here? Is he a tour guide? Is he selling something? Is he... 
Let's give him some kind of a purpose. What purpose does he have for being out? All right, let's give him some threads along the seam here. So something that uh, my family, that I've been starting to send to my family, uh, I send them a text, text message, uh, a proverb of the day. But I don't think I did that yesterday. What was the proverb yesterday? Proverb of the day. What is today's proverbs? What are today's proverbs? That's more proverbs than I send to my family. Today's proverb. The words of the godly are a life-giving fountain. The words of the wicked conceal violent intentions. Hatred stirs up quarrels, but love makes up for all offenses. Pardon me right now while I text that to the rest of my family. Proverb of the day. Here we go. I think I found it. Proverbs 3.65. Yep, that's the one. Proverbs 10, 11, 12. Proverbs 10, verses 11 and 12. Tapping on the Bible app, searching for Proverbs 11, 10, 11, 12, that is 10, colon, 11, hyphen, 12, go. This is not what I looked up at all. Why does this bring up all these other proverbs? Here we go, found it. Copy that verse, copy the next verse, share, copy, and we're gonna Send a text and paste. Boom, there we go. I hardly see my family. I mean, we're all living in the same house, but everybody's either at work or school or some other after-school activity or what have you.
So you gotta keep in touch. You gotta tend to your flock. Using whatever means available. I think that's part of the reason that I am creating the books that I create because uh, when my kids were little, little, like my daughter was, uh, it was 2012, so my daughter was five, I think, or seven. Math, you know. Here's the heel of his hand. Got to draw the pinky. If you're looking at the pinky side first, let's draw the pinky first. If you're looking at the, the thumb side first, then we'll draw the, the thumb side. I'm acting pretty bold doing this with pencil, with, with pen rather. What's my normal MO? I'm deviating from my normal modus operandi. All right, so now we'll do this, and we'll do that, and we'll do this. And we'll take the eraser tool, erase that ink line that I made earlier, make a different ink line. So I was working at home today. Tuesdays are my work from home days. That also means I can catch up with a lot of streamers that I usually don't see during the weekdays. I think that pinky is a little fat. 